so bright. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's, a, it's a lot to look at. I really want to look, but I, I completely forget about all this. <laughs> all that existed was. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. It's it's a it's a really beautiful practice. Oh my god. It really allows you to appreciate all those things that we had. It really trims down all the fat, everything to its like core nature of it. And when we get closer to that nature, you know, all those feelings and thoughts and everything about us that's arising, we don't, we realize none of it is really us. We don't need to identify with any of them. All we really need to do is just be this space that all that is arising and we just watch it all happen. And when it runs its course, we just let it go. And being in that, that space, that timeless space, is just a beautiful place to be. And it's so hard to do that in our daily lives when there's so much that's coming at us. But that's the beautiful thing about the darkness. It really trims it down to its like core, the most beautiful, the most important nature of it. What remained is so limitless. It's so timeless. It's so vast and it's so deep and it feels like there's no bottom to it it's it's pretty infinite i don't even know if it's really possible in the daily lives we live in there's i mean just looking outside right now it's it's i'm forcing myself to look but it's making me so dizzy there's so much data that's coming towards me like there's so much to take in and I'm just looking at some trees. <laughs> when there's that much to to take in, there's we you, it's so hard. We just get distracted. We get far farther and farther away from the core nature of things. And that's really what the darkness allows. It helps you focus. There's so many emotions, thoughts, things that we get uncomfortable by, things that we get curious about, all of those things are popping up. But if when we ask the question, where these thoughts and feelings, they're all coming from and who's producing all these, and you just rest with that answer, you actually find that there's there's nobody. And you're kind of left with this limitless, vast, big space. And and when you rest with that, that, that feeling of it is probably the most important thing. And it's so beautiful. I, I even came here with no practice in mind, nothing. I don't even know how to do like breath work or, you know, like let alone even meditation. I don't even meditate really. I mean, I've, I've, I've done it a few times, but not really. I just, it's something called for me and I just, I just showed up. Um, but I would say the, 
I, I mean, your guidance has been tremendous. You know, whatever you took, I took it to the heart and I just made, and, and I, I like that you clarified it with saying, there is no right or wrong answer. It's just an exploration. So instead of trying to find an answer, I would just practice it whenever an emotion would arise. And I would say, you know, I would get offended by something, a thought. And I'd be like, who's the one that's getting offended by this? And then I'm like, me. Well, I'm like, okay, so who's me? And I would just go deeper and deeper and peel that onion. And the more I peeled it, I just couldn't, there's no answer to it. And I'm just left with this like, just space and it's just like it's 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 awareness it's it's endless and I just sit with that and then I would watch those emotions and things that I would get offended just come and then it would go like where, where did that go I didn't I didn't like let it go it just kind of went on its own but it also appeared on its own so who's really in control here no one <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I just allowed myself to go as deep as it wanted to go. Like, a lot of those things that my ego would get, well, I'm calling it an ego because I don't have lack of words for me, but like, I would just get offended by it and I would get angry. Like, it is me. But then the more I just went deeper into that, where is it really coming from? Who is it producing these? Who is really me? You know, me that identify as me, the thoughts that's popping up, is that me? The feelings, is that me? But all that is feels pretty random. So who's really me that's in charge of all of this? And yeah, there, there's just nobody. And, and, and honestly, I was in there, I told you, I'm like, I don't know if I'm ready to actually accept this. Like, I did not like it because I want there to be control. I want there to be me. Yeah, but there's just, there's just not. <laughs> yeah. Like you mentioned, it's an endless journey. It really is. Just weaving through all these traps and having the courage and and, and and the humbleness to just say like, okay, I can let this go, I can let that go, I can let this go, I can let that go. I don't know what's gonna happen, I don't know what's gonna come, I don't know who I'm gonna be, but I'm just gonna keep going. And, and that's the theme of darkness, it's really trimming the fat as much as possible and like, you don't wanna bring anything here, you just wanna like show up and like, forget everything that you learned in the past almost and let the darkness be your teacher. And as long as you have this trait of like allowing to receive whatever it's giving you, that's really all you need because darkness will show you the path. But if you think you already knew the path and you're coming here to confirm that path, you're just, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't think you're gonna do well in here. It's gonna be difficult. The deeper that I went, like, it did not feel good after a certain level. I'm like, after a certain point, I'm like, oh, this is really good. Let me go deeper. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, let me go deeper. Oh, my God, I don't like this. Well, I don't I don't have any other choice. I'm like, I'm already here. Let me just find another thing. I'm like, oh, this is awful. <laughs> so the deeper I went, the harder it got. But then, again, the practice is actually just allowing whatever that comes. So maybe you don't feel blissful, but it does feel good to go deeper and like be exposed to the truth it does feel more freeing and that's really the feeling that i'm after personally i don't i could i don't really care too much about the happiness or blissfulness because all that just comes and goes comes and goes but the the peace like the freedom of it stays and that if, if you can embody that, anything that comes, you're allowed to come. Anything that goes, you're allowed to go with no attachments to it. But the feelings like happiness, if you're pursuing happiness, it's, the, it's, a, it's a major trap. Because sometimes it'll come and sometimes it'll go, but you don't want to let it go. Then 
you're gonna get trapped in there. I mean, it's, 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 um, yeah, it's an it's an endless illusion. I, I that's not. I would not want to chase happiness. <laughs> I like I like I like hardships in life. Like for me, I've experienced so much hardships, and all of that I've learned incredible amounts of skills, inc incredible amounts of like perception shifts. And I knew something as hard as this would give me some sort of skill that I could learn, but I didn't know what it was. But that wantingness to do that wasn't purely spiritual. It wasn't. It got me in the door, but as soon as I got here, you know, my my immediate reaction was to like be strong, be be hard, posture up. But that doesn't work in there. You need to actually soften up as much as possible. I really didn't need a whole lot of tools in there. I mean, that on its own, just receiving, letting go of when it runs its course, and just resting as that awareness. That for me, I. I could have been in there for even days and I, that, I would hold on to that practice. That's the reason why darkness is so beautiful because it's like, that's it. It just trims all the fat and you get really like close to the core of what's really the most important. It, it, it helps you so much. These types of things of perception shifts are not really accessible for the average people like me that just go to work day to day, you know, work out, you know, watch some movies and so it's it, it almost feels more like it belongs to people that live on mountains and like people like, you know, you know, like Blue and Aubrey type of people. Like it just does it feels so far away. But this is you just you just book it, show up, do it, and but it's you allow people to do it. I mean you created this whole place. And plus on top of it, I am extra immensely appreciative of you personally is because your, your guidance, your friendship, your mentorship has been, I don't, I don't know how I would do honestly without you. Um, cause the practice that I brought in there were actually your practices. You actually said, Hey, maybe like look deeper and like you would say one word, one, we didn't exchange a lot of words. It's not like we just sat down and had full on long conversation. This is probably the longest conversation you and I ever had. But you would say like one thing and then you would leave and I would take that one thing and go so deep with it. But whatever you said, it's just like it's exactly what I needed in there. You said, I, I would say, I'm trying to figure out blah, blah, blah. And then you said, well, maybe like ask the question, who's the one trying? And then you would leave. I'm like, fuck. What does that mean? <laughs> and I would let that take me as deep as I could go. So I really appreciate your mentorship. For me, it's been it's been tremendous. There's no anybody trying to embody their beliefs upon you. There's no reading books, listening things, practicing things. And it's so like, it's so quick. It's only three days out of somebody's life. And it's everlasting. And there's really nothing to do. You just show up and you just rest. Like, I'm like, I kept trying to convince myself and just give myself the permission. It's okay. Like, you need to, you can rest here. Soften up. It's okay. You don't need to do stuff. And it, that's it. Like, this can really be life-changing for all of those ordinary people like me. Book your ticket, show up. Be, sit here, rest. Your our lives are so busy. You deserve that. You deserve to rest. Just sit here. All you gotta do is just bring the courage and willingness to receive whatever you're gonna, whatever you, that's gonna show up. That's it. As long as you have that courage. I mean, I don't think what I've done was magical. I think all I've done was just open my heart and just allow myself to to receive it. And when you do that, darkness will do its thing. You don't need to do anything. First, it felt to me like, yeah, maybe I should actually be prepared. But then I realize now that preparation is actually not a good thing for this. You don't really want to be prepared. You don't really want to like sit through. I thought to myself, I'm like, maybe I should, you know, practice meditating hour a day. And I could have this practice. I could do that. But the simpler you get, you make out of this, the better it is. 
and, and the darkness itself is a good, like, analogy for that. It's just dark. There's nothing there. It's simple. It's just one. It's dark, black. That's it. No practice. Show up and just open to receive it. A lot of things that you may know, it may actually get crushed in there, and you just got to be okay with that. That's probably the hardest thing, and that's, not, that's nothing easy. Like everything that you've known your whole life and some of like some of these things you earn to know and it helped you in your life, but in there, if it gets crushed, you gotta let it crush it. Like and that's again, same theme, allowing whatever happens, opening your heart and whatever it wants to do to you, you gotta if it cuts deep, let it cut deeper. That's it.